hate packing. I hate packing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I'm at the station in Blair Athol. Ah, look how beautiful this is. It's so gorgeous here. On my way back to Glasgow, it's Sunday morning. Well, I'm headed to Glasgow because I'm meeting Brad and some friends for dinner because it's going to be our last chance to meet them before we head back. Though they go to Vermont a lot, so we'll probably see them there as well. But we haven't seen them in a while. and. I'm all by myself here at the station, so I thought I'd vlog a little since I haven't really, it's just been, I haven't really, I haven't vlogged since the move, um, which is going to be in this vlog, so this vlog is going to be like Wednesday through Sunday, which is a, kind of cheating on the challenge, but I do record video, I just sometimes don't record enough to warrant even putting together a video because we're so busy we're so busy packing and who wants to watch somebody pack um, so not very exciting sorry I'm kind of pacing because it's a little chilly <laughs> um, saw the Glenfiddich yesterday at Blair Castle Blair Castle's beautiful which you will have already seen on this vlog and uh, what an awesome room. I can just imagine what it must be like to uh, 
to play in that room. I mean, that room was made for bagpipes. They sounded amazing. It was such a good contest, too. I would not have wanted to judge it. <laughs> um, gosh, what else? There was a Kaylee last night, but it was in Pit Lockery, and I've been not feeling well for probably about a week and a half anyway, like feeling like I'm going to have a cold, like start a cold. It's, I've had a couple really not so good days, but most of the time it's just, I feel really run down and there's a lot going on. Um, our imminent departure from Scotland. Um, I think I've, I'm finally finally realizing that we're going to be leaving and I'm having a bit of a hard time um, because I, I mean I do want to go home because uh, I, I miss my family but it's, I, I really love being here it's such a pretty place and everyone's so lovely um, gosh I just I am very sad to leave um, but hopefully I'll be back in April for the Heart Festival at hopefully the very least, if not, if I can swing it, August. Though the company that I get essential oils from are having their annual convention in Salt Lake City next year. And, um, I haven't been since... We moved to Scotland just because it's it's too much to. Oops, I lost my headphones. Um, it's too much to uh, pay to fly home from Scotland and then um, fly to Salt Lake City or like last year it was in Dallas. Um, so I feel a bit out of touch with what's going on in the company. And since I'll be doing, going back to massage and aromatherapy, when I get home, as I build up my music business, um, I feel like I, I should really go to their convention next year so I can uh, just get back in touch with what's going on with the company. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But then I've also thought about doing, um, going to Winter Storm in January in Kansas City. It's a big piping workshop, piping and drumming, and it's become really huge. And I haven't been yet, but, uh, now they have some amateur competitions, um, and I had kind of kept in the back of my mind that... I want to start working more on my piping again because I don't, when I worked for myself, I tended to let it go just because I'm at a decent skill level. So I don't, I mean, to play gigs and stuff, it's not like I need to work on, the, on that material unless it's something specific for a bride but or a funeral. But like contest material takes a lot of work to maintain and I haven't really played any contest much since I've been in Scotland because I was too busy working on stuff for exams and that kind of material so um gosh this is turning into a long rant <laughs> just kind of all the ideas I've had so I was thinking about going to Kansas City they've got a light music competition for amateur since I'm in grade one so I'm still amateur um it's a MSR hornpipe jig played all all at once and it's your own choice which I mean you can't you can't go wrong with that but that means everybody's going to be bringing their A game because they're going to choose like I would choose material that they really like and they're really they play really well so um but it's not so much I saw this this neurolinguistic programmer 
type practitioner. He does neuro-linguistic programming and he does hypnosis and he does psychology and um, more for my fear, I say my fear, my terror of flying that I had. Um, and he, I've only been for one session, but he helped me so much. Like I'm not terrified of flying anymore, but it, the things that he did kind of spilled over into other parts of my life. Like for the first time ever, I have nails. If you can see that. I have been biting my nails for as long as I can remember. And it, anxiety, of course. It's an anxious, anxious habit. And uh, I actually had to cut my nails last week because they were too long to play the harp with. Um, I, I just don't have the compulsion anymore. So how that relates to competition, to go back to the original subject, is, I don't know, it was interesting to watch the Glenfiddich yesterday because I had a different outlook on competition. Oh no, I lost my ear earbuds again. I'm gonna have to just put them someplace else. Okay, hold on. All right, so I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was interesting to watch Glenfiddich yesterday because, I don't know, sometimes when I watch big contests like that, whether it's like the Masters Solo competition during Piping Live or, or the Braddock Gorm or anything like that, I almost felt anxious for the performers. Sorry, I just don't want somebody to <laughs> walk up on me like pacing back and forth and talking to my phone. Um, I almost felt anxious for the performers because I know how anxious I felt. I feel like so many of my exams at school went so badly, purely not because I wasn't prepared, but just because I was so anxious and I just, it was an outright panic, very much like the anxiety I had to fly. Mm -hmm.